Roman beakers or cups are of two types, those with furnace-finished rims, those with cracked-off rims. And this is one with a cracked-off rim. The process begins with a medium-sized gather on a small blowpipe. The glass blowing for a beaker with a cracked off rim is essentially the same in its early stages as that for a furnace finished rim. The initial bubble is blown with the blowpipe held slightly downward to ensure that the tip stays the thickest part and to thin the glass nearest the blowpipe that said, if no punty is going to be attached, it's less important that the thickest part be the center of the bottom of the vessel. In any case, this marvering promotes that, promotes the thickening of the bottom. This is the constriction that will enabled me to separate the bubble from the blowpipe at the end of the process. And this vessel has another constriction. It's a decorative constriction that will cause the rim to occur at a flared portion of the bubble, but it's also somewhat functional, as we'll see in the cracking off process. Glass blowing is completed. With a bang on the blowpipe, the vessel is separated from the blowpipe, no punty mark, of course, and the blank is placed in the annealing oven for slow cooling. The rim is created by cracking off. Here I've made a conical tool out of hot glass. It's on the end of the blowpipe. And it serves two purposes. One is it creates the scratch around the circumference. And two, it delivers the heat precisely to the location of the scratch. This technique for cracking off is almost infallible. The cracked off portion is, of course, recycled. It's a technique that almost never fails. The vessel is kept moving during the cracking off process to make the scratches deeper and deeper. Cracking off has to be followed by smoothing of the edges. I use a piece of sandstone. At the conclusion of the crack off, the edges are exceedingly sharp and dangerous.